Hey everybody, I want to tell you about something really cool that we came up with. My family and I, we go to this place called Nine Round. It's in Riverton, Utah. It is a 30 minute HIIT training gym. Um, the coach there, the, the coach and owner is Drew Davitt. Uh, you should go check him out. Go, uh, go check out the gym and let him know we sent you. It's amazing. So what we came up with is every day we've got to use wraps and our boxing gloves. So you wrap your hands, wrap your wrists and your hands and then you put them in your gloves and then that way you protect your wrists and your hands uh, and they teach you proper form so you don't uh, break anything. But the idea is we've got all these wraps, you can't see it here, but we've got just tons of wraps. And when you get home, throw them in the washer in one of these types of little bags you use for small pieces of clothing that you don't want to get ripped or anything. So we got these at like a Marshalls or a Ross. When you get your wraps home, they're just completely uh, stretched out. You can wrap them up before you leave the gym, but you still need to unwrap them to wash them. So we recommend that you put them in here, zip up this bag, and then they go in the wash like that. And when they come out, they're still in a big old mess. And so this is what we wanted to share with you today. This is my Hitachi power drill. It has variable, uh, variable speed, meaning that you hold the, the trigger down and it goes slower or faster. It's kind of important for this kind of thing. Um, and then it's got torque on the top. We, we don't want a lot of torque. Uh, we want it to be less torque because we, we want you to be able to resist it uh, in case the, uh, the wrap gets wound up or something like that. This is how you wrap them up, slowly, and it takes forever. And when you've got you know 10 pairs of these things, we were looking for something to make it faster. So this is something you can do at home. It's super cheap, if not completely free, hopefully for you. But what I did is I took a wire hanger, something you get from like a dry cleaner or something like that. I'm sure there's other devices you can use, but I took the wire hanger, I clipped it into about eight inches, and then I bent it so that it would fit inside my drill. And all I did is create a two prong little device thing that fits in my in my drill. I tighten up that that bit and then it spins. It doesn't have to be perfect because really all it's doing is winding up my wraps. That's what we did is we created a wrap winder that we want to show you. So on a lot of wraps they have a little hem at the end or you can use a little hook piece uh, but we just put the hem between the two prongs and I'm going to roll towards the side that's, uh, oh, this one doesn't say, oh yes it does. It says this side down, so I want that on the inside. And then you want to guide it, so a slow speed and guide your wrap. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be efficient and clean enough to throw into your bag and get you to the gym. So once you get to the end, slow down a little bit, make sure that the Velcro bits are unwrapped and that they're going the right way. And that's it. Then, at the core, I pull it at the center and pull it off, and there's my wound wrap. So we wanted to share something with you that we've learned um, that you can do at home, especially if you go to a HIIT training gym or a boxing gym, anything like that. Uh, hopefully this will help you. All right, thanks.